Hi, this is John at Airborne, and this is a tutorial for setting up the FLIR Duo camera with our Pico Raptor video encoder. So I have the camera, the video encoder, the FLIR accessory cable, and the Pico Raptor dev cable and finally a video cable. This is an Aerial Pixels cable which has a mini video connector on one end and micro video connector on the other end. Okay, so to start let's plug in the dev cable, Picoraptor dev cable. So uh, first of all this is the Ethernet connection so we'll plug that in into the Ethernet port which is right next to the Ethernet transformer and we'll plug in power into either one of the power connectors and just mount it in the vise Now we'll plug in the FLIR accessory cable, which provides power primarily in this application, and the video cable. So mini connector on the Pico Raptor, micro connector on the FLIR, and then finally we're going to plug in power, plug in power on the FLIR and power on the Pico Raptor, 12 volts. Now, just watching the boot sequence here. So, the FLIR camera is initially powering up, and then after a little while we should start to see video flashing on the micro raptor Okay, there we go. We got a video signal going on the Microraptor. And on the PC over here, we're going to set up a, first of all, a ping. So we'll type ping 192.168.1.168-t. And we'll see we have a ping from, from the aircraft. The PC's local IP address is set up to a uh, static address of 192.168.1.17. In this case, uh, you can go to network settings, uh, ethernet, change adapter options, and then look at your ethernet connection and do properties, and then internet version four, and here's where it's set to uh, use the following IP address, a static IP address. So we'll cancel that for the moment. And now we should be able to get into the Pico Raptors configuration page, which is 192.168.1.168 slash config.html. So we're in the config page, so we'll scroll down and double check the video configuration. So we see it's set up to HDMI DVI, video input source, Output resolution is 720p. Bitrate here is 4000 kbps, which is the same as 4 megabits per second. And then finally scrolling down to HDMI input resolution, that's set to 720p 60. And uh, we, we skipped over the frame rate here, which is set to 30 frames per second. And uh, just as a final double check of the video status, back at the top of the page under live video status, if you click on start video status, you'll see video input frames per second 60, 
uh, no streaming yet, and the number of frames processed. This is an indication that we have a live video signal connected and functioning properly. So now we can do a couple different things here to get video. We can start VLC. VLC is actually already going. And then we'll do media, open network stream. And then I have this RTSP string here, uh, which is already entered in. Uh, if you like, you can actually copy and paste that from the config page. So if you uh, can scroll down to frequently asked questions, what is the streaming video URL? You can copy and paste it from right there. So that's the default URL. And so back to VLC, so that URL's been pasted already. Uh, we click on show more options and set caching to 250 milliseconds or 200 milliseconds in VLC's case and click on play. And we should actually see the live uh, stream from the camera now. So that is all going. And the uh, the other thing that you can do is use uh, GStreamer. So we'll close out of VLC. Uh, we happen to have already set up GStreamer here. Uh, so there's a batch file, so we can take a quick look at that, that batch file. And so you see there's a GST launch 1.0 command with RTSP source and then the location and latency equals 50 and so on. This is right out of the PicoRaptor manual. And if we double click on that batch file, then we'll see the live video stream. So, so that's it in a nutshell. Now let's uh, try one more exercise here, which is to change the IP address of the PicoRaptor. So we're gonna go back to the config page and under IP address, there's an IP address field. I would be a little bit careful with this. But uh, in this case, if we want to say change it to 1.22 uh, or uh, even one, let's, let's try something even a different uh, subnet, 168.22. And let's go ahead and click Submit. Now once we've done this, the PicoRaptor is going to change its IP address. As a result, since we have a static IP address on the PC, we're going to have to change our IP address here as well. To match. So we're going to go back to Ethernet and adapter options. So properties under Ethernet, back to IP version 4, and then we're going to change to the same subnet, which is 192.168.168. We'll leave the last digit the same. Click on OK. And uh, let's see if we can ping it now. Ping 192.168.168.22. So we are actually pinging the new IP address and um, let's go to VLC and see if we can start streaming at the new IP address. So what we'll have to do is go media, open network stream, and then select that original address and then we'll modify the IP address to match what we just changed it to, 168.22, show more options, reduce the D VLC's default is one second caching, which is quite long, so we'll change that back to 250. And then click on play. And there's the stream at the new IP address. So there we go. So um, that's pretty much it. The uh, just just a couple of notes on the the LED that's flashing on the Pico Raptor, so that, that LED, the green L flashing LED, is connected directly to the video clock, so it's a, it's, a, it's a heavily divided version of the video clock. So depending on the, on the rate of the camera, when the camera is going, you can see different clock rates depending on the camera's setting, so that's, that can be a bit of a hint. Uh, if you know what to look for, that's a good indication that the video is is streaming just as effective as the video status uh, indicator on the config page. Uh, the, the red LED is power and then the orange LED is the HDMI hot plug so that's just another 
another indication that you have a, a uh, basically a cable plugged in on uh, the HDMI cable, HDMI DVI cable. So uh, with that, that uh, concludes this video. Thanks for watching.